Matato Marine, um, the managing director and founder of Greco Organic Farm. Greco, the word Greco comes from Green Echo. In 2015, Miss Nyangoma Margaret was diagnosed with a, a very serious heart condition. Uh, due to doctors at the Mulago Heart Institute, recommended that. Uh, that uh, the only medicine was fresh vegetables. First, with the above situation, I, the daughter, Nyakato Maureen, I started growing vegetables on a smaller space as kitchen gardens, but it later turned into a business. So, uh, from uh, 2015, 2016, though it had turned into a business, I was like, it was really struggling. I really did not know what to do. My biggest challenge was land ownership. Mm. Yeah, before we didn't own land where we are operating now, we were using rentals. You find today you set up your, your work and then tomorrow the landlord is like, I no longer want you here. So we have been starting up over and over again, but today we established. Uh, it is not a donation. <laughs> it is through a network. The caravan was an eye opener. We were able to go to different farms where we were able to learn different things and uh, really when we came back we have implemented networking is key uh, during the caravan they told us that our network is our network mr mingisha connected me to enable youth uganda enable youth uganda which took us through entrepreneurship it took us through funding though it is alone it had a very interest rate and uh, with that help really we were able to achieve more we grow spice or herbs we do mushroom growing we do agri trainings we design kitchen gardens we have uh, seeds we have seedlings we sell uh, fresh vegetables we as well do value addition for example, we have um, seeds, we have uh, dry spices, we have uh, dry mushrooms and uh, many other things and there is a great change and because of all that change, uh, many other organizations are able to look to us. Uh, for example, I, I turned out to be a youth champion under uh, the FAO project but I am a champion because i've been mentored yeah the, the message that i have for the young people uh, is that if you believe you can make it and if you persist you will get there and uh, the other main main message is that i don't take opportunities for granted for example i know other people they take you for a caravan you go there and learn things and you just keep them in your head you don't come back and implement so um, it is very key to really take opportunities serious so i really thank you yalta i thank you all the yalta team i thank you mr mgisha i thank you my fellow champions mm -hmm.